All right, and welcome back to another GED RLA video with Phuket Pals. Today, we're going to be jumping into a past paper. Okay, this is part one, 22 questions in 35 minutes. Many people look at me like I've got two heads when I tell them 22 questions in 35 minutes, but it can be done. You're looking at a minute and a half or so per question. And the next question students ask me, is, how can I possibly get that speed? How can I get to that level? Well, you have to practice, practice, practice. Watching these videos helps, but you also have to put in the work yourself. So remember that. Let's have a look. Let's get stuck in straight away. Okay, so part part one here uh, is you, we can see some drop-down menus. Okay, Dro drop-down menus. Number one, uh, it's a special announcement to all employees. Okay, great news. In response to all your requests, the company is planning to open a childcare facility on the third floor. Okay, so it's always an idea just to give yourself 10 seconds just to kind of see what the context of this question is. Sometimes it can help. Um, it just helps uh, my students that I've taught in the past. Some of them say it helps from a confidence point of view when they have an idea of the context of what's going on. And then when they approach the question, they feel that they have kind of a little bit of prior knowledge about it. So let's have a look. Have your something sign the forms have your something sign the forms okay so have your doctor office sign the forms well doctor office the office belongs to the doctor so we need an, apost an apostrophe and an s here if that was to make sense b have your doctor's office well we can see the apostrophe is outside the s as opposed to inside the s if it's outside the s this is usually when you're dealing with a plural. So there, if there were more than one doctor, okay, if it, let's say a person had five doctors and it said, have your uh, doctor's office sign the forms. Maybe you had five doctors at the same place. Well, then you'd have the apostrophe outside the S. But in this case, we're dealing with the singular. So doctor's office, again, there's no apostrophe, doctor's office, apostrophe S, this is correct, because we're assuming that the person has one doctor's office. Okay, so apostrophe S. We'll move on down. It says here, unfortunately, there's a limit on the number of children who can be cared for at the facility, comma, something sooner rather than later. Okay, so what are our, what are our options here? We've got a comma, then sooner rather than later after that. <clears throat> so it says, who can be cared for at the facility so it would be wise to get an application in sooner rather than later. That's a possibility. Okay, that's a possibility. Uh, who can be cared for at the facility, it would be wise. No, you can't have that because we have a comma. And then after that, we have it. Okay, so there's no linking word here. We don't have a linking word. We have a subject, it. So it cannot be that. So this is gone. Uh Cared for at the facility, be wise, get your application with. No, it doesn't make sense. Be wise. Yeah, it's very informal. The commas are wrong. There's no linking word. No. Uh, cared for at the facility. If you are wise, you'll get an application in sooner rather than later. Mm, well, you, you, you wouldn't need a comma here if you said, if you are wise. Okay. If you are wise, you should have a comma in here as well. Okay, that should have a comma. Also, you wouldn't need a comma before the if in the middle of the sentence here. So there's a comma error here, and there's a comma error here if you used if. So it must be A, okay? So we're just using the conjunction, okay, or the connecting word. So uh, to show result, and that makes the correct answer. Moving on down. Moving on down to part number three, not part three, number three. It says, uh, you will have to make that clear on the application and something. Okay, let's go to the start, the start of the sentence here. If your child has special dietary needs, comma, you will have to make that clear on the application and, okay, so you will have to, okay, so we're dealing with you here. You will have to provide, so we wouldn't use verb S, with you, would we? No. We would use provide, you provide. 
Okay, we provide, they provide. Okay, he provides, she provides, it provides. So we're dealing with a you here in this question, you. So we have to make sure that our verb has no S on it. So this is gone. This is gone. These ones have got S. So we're down to two. You will have to make sure that, sorry, you will have to make that clear on the application and provide a list of foods that is acceptable. Okay, well, it can't be that is acceptable because we have foods. So it's a plural. So this verb is wrong. It must be D. D is the correct answer. You will have to provide... You will have to make that clear on the application and provide a list of foods that are acceptable. It is D. Okay. We've got the R, which shows us that it's plural here with foods, and the provide works with the subject, which is you. Okay. So subject-verb agreement question there. You'll see many subject-verb agreement questions. Always keep an eye, a, a lookout for those. They come up a lot. Number four, snacks will also be provided, but if a parent prefers, a child may bring their own food. Okay, child may bring them. A child may bring his or her own food. A child may bring his or her own food. A child may bring its own food. Well, let's look. It can't be D. Its own food. A child is not a thing. A child is a person. So it does not fit with that. So we'll get rid of this one. A child may bring his or hers own food. His or hers. This S is wrong, isn't it? And saying his or her is very, very wordy. Okay. A child may bring his or her own food. A child may bring their own food. Mm. Yeah, it has to be B, doesn't it? A child may bring their own food. I think it is. Yes, it is. It is B. It has to be B here. A child may bring his or her own food. Yeah, because the child could be a girl or a boy. A child may bring their own food. Well, their is for the plural, isn't it? The children can bring their own food. But this is singular. It's a child. So we cannot use their. So A is correct. Moving on down to number five. What have we got? More drop-down menus. And let's have a, let's have a look. The facility will be open Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 a.m. Full stop. We've got a full stop here and a full stop here. So let's see. We've got two full stops. That's important to remember. And let's see what the options are. With 22 years of childcare experience, it will be under the supervision of Celestia Lynn. Okay, it's weird that this subject here comes at the end of the sentence. That's a red flag for me. I would say it's probably not that one at this stage. Uh, Celeste Lynn, who has 22 years of childcare supervision, it will be under her supervision. Okay. Okay, so this it is wrong here. Okay. Celeste Lynn, who has 22 years of childcare supervision, it will be under her supervision. This is just fundamentally wrong here. See, it will be under the supervision of Celeste Lynn, who has 22 years of childcare experience. That sounds right. Okay, so what we have here is a relative clause. Okay, and our relative clause is a, a clause that begins with who. Okay, and it can also start with which, or there's many different ways a relative clause can start. But this one is starting with who, because... Celeste Lynn is a person, okay? And if you look at the sentence, this is a full sentence. It will be under the supervision of Celeste Lynn, comma, who has 22 years of childcare experience. This gives us extra information about Celeste Lynn, extra information. That's what a relative clause does. It gives you, well, it, there's two ways to look at it. One can be extra information. One can be essential information, but that's a different lesson. In this case, we're getting extra information about Celeste Lynn. Let's just look at D, just in case. Under the supervision of Celeste Lynn, should be a comma here. Okay, should be a comma. That's wrong. So there should be a comma because under is the first word of the sentence. Okay, and the clause is a dependent clause because it starts with under, which is a preposition. 
So this is a prepositional clause, and you need a comma halfway through a prepositional clause. So C is the correct, the correct answer because it is a relative clause here that works perfectly for the question. Number six. Let's see, number six. Okay, the cost will vary depending on your current salary. Then we have a semicolon. The company sees no need. Oh, sorry. The, the One moment. The cost will vary depending on your current salary. However, we want to make the facility affordable for you. It seems a possibility. Okay, we have a however, our connecting word, and a comma, which when you're using these Connecting words here, things like however, in addition, consequently, otherwise. When you use words like this to connect two sentences together, you can have a semicolon, okay? If you've got a complete sentence with a subject and a verb, okay, the cost, okay, the cost will, the cost is the subject, will is the verb, vary depending on your current salary is a complete thought. It's a complete sentence. So we can semicolon then connecting word comma is correct. So we can see all of these connecting words here have the comma. So that bit of them is correct. Um, let's see. The cost will vary depending on your current salary. In addition, we want to make the facility affordable for you. No, it's not giving extra. It's not giving something extra here. It's not giving something also we want to make it available to you. Consequently, it's not a result. Otherwise, that doesn't work either. It has to be the first one. It has to be however, okay? Because there's a contrast there. So it says the cost will vary. It will change depending on your salary. However, contrast, we want to make the facility affordable for you. Yep, so A is the correct answer there. All right, so that's the first little bit done there. And I think, yeah, that's probably enough for today, for this video. And we'll stop it there and then come back very soon for more videos.